Hey everyone, welcome back to Take You Forward. So today we will be solving the problem count number of square submatrices. Yes. What does the question state? You will be given an n cross m matrix filled up with one and zeros. Okay. And you have to figure out how many square submatrices are there. What is square? Whose length is equal to the breadth, right? So for an example, I can say we have a size one square here, a size one square here. So I can say there are six size one squares. Can I say that? I definitely can. How many uh, two uh, size squares are there? Then uh, that can be this only. Like I can see just one size two square. Do I have a size three square? The answer to that is no. So in total, I have seven squares. In total, I have seven squares in this particular n cross m matrix. Okay. Uh, so in total, I have seven square in this particular matrix. Now let's uh, check out for this. How many do you think? I know one thing for sure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know ten size one squares are definitely there. How many two sizes are there? Let's quickly check that out as well. We know one is here for sure. 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 So there is four size two squares is something for sure. How many uh, do we have as three? I can see, uh, do we have a three size square? Yes, this is the three size square that we only have. So we have a one size three squares. So in short, I have 15 total squares. That is the question. I will be giving you an N cross M matrix. You have to tell me the total number of sub matrices which are squares it can be of size one size two size three can be of any particular size so how do you approach this problem definitely uh, like if this question comes up in an interview you say that you're going to try out the brute force solution and it's very simple you basically stand here and you say okay uh, this guy can be one square this guy can be two square this guy can be three square so there can be three squares then you stand here you say this guy can be one square this guy can be two square similarly you stand here you say this guy can only be one square stand here one square only two square stand here one square two square so you probably you can just run across some for loops and that will be your brute force where you just keep on expanding like you basically stand here and you try expanding to this then you from here try expanding to this and that is only possible if these guys are one. This expansion is only possible if these guys are one. So you need to have a proper check, which is again going to be slightly complicated. So like this in short, you don't have to code it in an interview. You just have to t say that this is what I'm thinking. They'll not ask you to code it because the code will be very, very complex. That's the brute force solution where you stand at a particular stuff and you try to expand it. But can we do better? Uh, yes, we can do better. And that is where something like dynamic programming will come in. Yes. Till now, all the dynamic programming solutions that we have done was based on recursion. Okay. Was based on recursion. Over here, we can apply recursion, but that is not intuitive. Defi generally, in all square problems, we tend to write the tabulation. We tend to write the tabulation that is much more intuitive. And you'll understand why is that much more intuitive. We will try to write the tabulation format. So what we do is generally in all the square problems, there are not many, like there are only a couple or three square problems. So what you do is you create the similar size DPRA. Okay. Try to create the similar size DPRA. And what you state is DP of IJ, like 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now, whatever value is here that basically states how many squares how many squares end at i comma j like the right bottom the right bottom is at i j the right bottom is at i j how many are there whose right bottom is at i j for an example if i ask for this guy how many guys are there like how many squares will end at 
this guy being the right bottle. I can say only he himself. So there'll be only one guy who will say that I will be the right bottom, which is this guy. For this guy, this cannot be a square because this is a rectangle. Only this guy is the right bottom of himself. So again one. For this guy, this guy himself will be the right bottom because this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle. So this guy will be the bottom guy. So that's one again. Similarly for this guy, this will be a rectangle. So he himself will be the right bottom. One for himself. Again for this guy, he himself will be the right bottom. So one for himself. So I'm, I'm definitely sure that this row and this uh, column gets copied because they are just the single elements they are the single elements who will be the square so if i ask you this guy will be the right bottom for how many squares one square is one square is he himself one square is he himself where he is the right bottom the other one is this where he is the rightmost bottom guy one is he himself where he is the rightmost bottom guy the other square is he where he is the right bottom guy so i can probably put in a two over here if i ask for this one he is himself where he is the right bottom guy the other is this portion where this is the right bottom again so again two for this he himself and this is the other one now beyond this this cannot be because this is rectangle i'm looking for square he himself and in this he so again two now for this, I can say he himself, this here, and in the entire, again he himself. So there are three, one is this, one is this, one is this, in which this guy is the right bottom. So there are three. So I know at every junction, I have one square, I have one, I have one, I have one. This can be a part of two, this can be a part of two, this can be a part of one. So how do I fill up this DP table is my question because I know for every guy how many squares are there and I need the total. So I can probably do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. If I sum, sum it up all, I'll get all the squares that we can form because we are assuming every guy to be the square bot like the right bottom. So but how do we fill up this DP table because manually looking we understand that okay this guy is a portion of he himself again for this again for this but how do you actually fill this up that is that is a point to be raised so for that what i'll do is i'll take the next square okay and try to fill this up and see if we are able to fill this okay now as i said the first row will be they themselves the first column will be they themselves so you don't need to do anything you just replicate them just go across and replicate them now over here, can I see if this guy is forming one square, this guy is forming one square, this guy is forming one square, and if I add a one, that's bound to form one more square. That's bound to form one more square. Okay, so that's two. Over here, this guy is forming a single square. This guy is forming two square. But if he attaches this, this will be a rectangle. And this guy is forming a single square. So can I say, I don't need to take this two. I don't need to take this two because this on attaching will be a rectangle. But what I can do is, since this is a single square, this is a single square. And I'm very much sure if this is forming a two square, this will also form a single square. Thereby, can I say, I'll take the minimal of this 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 and do a plus one for him he himself so that will be a two i hope you understood because because again let's repeat we had a two which means we were having two squares which were ending here and if i expand this we cannot have because it's a rectangle thereby it's very important we take the minimal of all of these because the minimal is important over here if this is forming one square this is forming one square and this is forming two square then it's bound that we take this because this two will also form one that's why a two comes in over here okay now again we are coming over here same logic a one is here a one is here and then there is two which means i can form two squares one is this the other one is this but if i expand this this cannot be three squares because this can just be one 
and this can be 2. So thereby, again the minimal that I'll fill in with 2. Perfect. Similarly over here, we have a 2 which means there is one square he and the other square he. That's why 2. And there is again 1 which means 1 himself. Again 1 which means 1 himself. So can I say again the minimal of all? And I'll just fill up 2. And over here, a point to be seen. Over here we see that, okay, this guy, this guy says, this guy can form 2 which means one for himself and the other for himself. This guy also says I can form 2 which means one for himself, one for himself. Which means all of these guys are filled with 1s. All of these guys are filled with 1s. That is the reason there is a 2 over here. Because all of these are filled with 1s. That is the reason there is a 2 over here which means all of these are filled with 1s. And there is a 2 over here which means all of these are also filled with 1s. This one and this one. So I can assumably say all of these are filled with 1s. So if I attach one more 1, I know I will form a square of size 3. One himself, the other here and the other full. That is how you do it. Okay, let's do it for the last one. For the last one, I see I can just have two guys, which means this portion. I can again have two guys, which means this portion. I can again have three guys, which means this portion. But this guy can actually form this, can actually form this, and at max can actually form this. It cannot go this portion. It cannot go this portion. And this portion comes under this three. So I can just go till this two. At max till this 2 I can go. That is what I can do. So I can take this 2 and I can say, hey listen, I can do for myself, I can do for yourself, and I can do for the 3. So that means there was 2 and I'm adding 1, so that's 3 again. Thereby the total rectangles will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and you sum it out. I hope that makes pretty much sense. So the formula is very straightforward. If you are, let, let me just quickly fill this up. You just fill up the first row as it is in order to fill this in order to fill this you take this guy you take this guy you take this guy and the minimal and if it's a one you add one to it the minimal is one there's one so you add now you go over here that's a one you go to this that's a zero you go to this this is a one this is a two so the minimal is zero so you take zero plus one one because he will be himself only this cannot expand he'll be himself only there by one next you go here and you say okay listen there's a one so there's a two over here there's a one here there's one here so is the minimal one so one plus one two again makes sense because one himself one for himself there's a zero so zero that's how you fill it so i can say any dp of ij will be minimal of dp of the upper row the diagonal and the previous column perfect plus one and this will only be valid if it is a one if it is a one otherwise you just fill in a zero that is as simple as it can get now if you just write this you should be able to get the total number of answers Let's quickly uh, check out the code. So we will declare the dp of size n cross m. Now you know the first row gets copied. So please, please copy the first row. That's as simple as that. What you can do is uh, you can go for the first row, which is j equal to 0, j lesser than m, and j plus plus. And please copy the first, which is dp of 0, or j equal to array of 0, and j. Perfect. Similarly, uh, please make sure you copy the next thing, which is the first column. Again, dp of i0 equal to array of i0. Okay. Once you have done this, it is pretty straightforward. Just go across this, 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 this. Go across. Just make sure you don't uh, do the first row and the first column again. This can be very simple. If array of ij is equal to equal to 0, you say dp of ij is equal to 0 or else you say dp of ij is equal to 1 plus minimum of dp of the previous row guy comma minimal of dp of the diagonal which is i minus 1 j minus 1 comma dp of the previous row which is previous column rather which is this definitely once you have done all these you need the summation of everyone you can either summate uh, 
you can either submit while calculating or you can just do it across here whatever you wish to that is your choice i'll leave that to you dp of ij that is something which you can do once you've done you can return the submission this is very simple all of them are giving correct answer now if you submit this you will indeed get correct answer so this time complexity guys we're using we go of n into m that is what we're using and the space complexity is an n into m db matrix is what we are using so so i hope i was able to explain you this problem on the matrix so just in case i was please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to this channel please 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 do consider subscribing to us because that is the only thing that keeps me motivated every now and then to make these kind of content so yeah with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in the next one till then bye bye take care Whenever your heart is broken.